We're good to go. All right. Well, you want me to just dive in then, Cindy? Sure. Dive in, dive in. All right. Hey, it's so great to see you all this morning. I see you on there, David. I really appreciated your training on Monday morning. That was awesome. It's been a talk of our household the last uh, few days. So if you Thank guys you. Missed it, go on it and listen to Mondays. Hey, um, I just want to keep it short and sweet because you're all on here to do power work too, not just to do training, 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 even though we've been, they've been some incredible ones on here. Um, what I first want to do is just tell you a little story and not because of it's highlights me or anything, but because what I learned through an experience. Um, many of you know that this fall I, I um, attempted an Ironman triathlon, which is um, 100 or 2.4 miles swimming, 112 running or biking, and 26.2 running. Well, it was something that um, I never dreamed of doing at this time last year. I never dreamed of doing in June of last year. Most people take a couple of years to decide that they're going to do it and start working up into it. But um, with things closed down and stuff, um, Dexter Yates, who many of you know, I ride with her and she's like, just come on, come on, come to Cozumel and do this with me. So I said, what the heck, why not? Well, you know, I did the things that you need to do at that point in time and was beforehand. You know, I, I had my support crew. I was working on my nutrition, working on my swim, doing the things I needed to for the bike, doing the things I needed to for the run and um, got to the race. And I, you know, I was like, man, swimming's my thing. Got through the swim, got through it easy. No, no problem. You know, was, was pretty good time, you know, got through the bike. I was confident on that. I'd been practicing it a lot, riding a lot of Hills. Um, there was an incredible wind, but it was not that big of a deal. And then we got to the run and I, I you know, I kind of in my mind as I was getting ready for this race was like, you know, I'm doing this in four months. Most people decide, you know, this and do it a few years out. Um, you know, if I make it to three loop run, if I make one of the loops, you know, that'll be great. I can, I can be happy with that. If I can do the next loop, you know, that'll be super. And if I can do the last loop, I'll be, you know, that'll be great. Well, I did, you know, one loop, got done with it. Was like, okay, let's do another one. Um, um, got through that. It wasn't so pretty, but I was like, oh, if I go a couple more miles, I'll be two thirds of the way done. And then you get to that. And it's like, oh, I got to get to mile 20. I got to get to the turnaround. Well, I got to mile 23 and my body was done. I was having some back issues. I sat down to stretch it and there just was no getting back up. And um, I had to stop. And that was a bummer, but I was, I did more than I had in my mind pictured myself doing. And what I realized looking back is that I never visualized myself going through the finish line and hearing you are an Ironman. And I never visualized myself going beyond that finish to what it was going to feel like when I saw my husband again, or when I talked to my kids, or what it would do to encourage other people to get more fit. I didn't think about the things that were going to be beyond what it was going to feel like. And I really challenge you to think a little bit about, not a little bit, maybe a lot about, you guys are working really hard on contacting people, on maybe placing a tool, but are you really visualizing what it's going to be like to have to change somebody's life as they get in better health and as they become more financially uh, secure, maybe be even beyond their wildest dreams for their family? Are you really visualizing and feeling what does that gonna feel like when you help somebody to change their life? Or are you thinking so hard about placing a tool, contacting, making a new relationship, which are all great things. You know, I mean, it's a great thing. I went 100 and 37 miles of that race I completed out of 140. That's a pretty great accomplishment. But do you want to stop there and just educate people or do you want to change their lives? So start to think about that. What's it going to feel like deep down in your heart when you see somebody maybe overcome a health challenge that was something they never ever thought they were gonna to get to do, or maybe that you help somebody to get so they can run three miles or walk three miles and, and have a lifestyle that lets them participate with their grandkids. 
you know, whatever it is, what if financially, you know, what if you could turn their life around and make it easier for them instead of having to be a constant strain? Think what that would feel like. Maybe add it to your dream board, what that picture is going to be. So that's what I just wanted to, to talk about a little bit today. Your assignment, though, is going to be a little bit different. Well, I guess it kind of goes along the way, same way. Um, as I was doing this Ironman, and as you do different things in life, there's parts of it that you're just like, oh, I really don't want to do that. I'm not comfortable doing that part. Um, and, and, you know, you're all working on, on Facebook right now a lot, I think, maybe Twitter, LinkedIn. And it's gotten maybe a little comfortable to reach out to somebody, maybe even to send them a tool. But think about the part that, ooh, just like your chicken list, that person that you don't want to contact, think of that, that way that contacting somebody is not really comfortable for you. Maybe as Cindy was saying early, it's picking up the phone. That's sometimes a little bit harder than just typing in the computer. Or maybe it's hooking them up with a three-way call. Maybe it's getting to the point where you say, today, I am going to ask somebody to join me in business. And in this next 20 minutes, you're going to take it to that next step where you ask somebody to, you know, to get on the product or to join you in business. Because remember, we have that 30 day money guarantee back money back guarantee too. So while they're learning about things, they might as well be using the product. So that's my challenge to you today as you're working. Instead of staying in your comfort zone for today, pick one thing that's not your comfort zone or one way that maybe you're avoiding as you're contacting people. And it might just be asking them to join you in business or asking them to, if they're ready to use the product and help them get that order. So that's my challenge to you today as you go to work. So let's go do it. <laughs>